Welcome back to Parks and Parsimony. If you have any type of sensitivity towards animals, I would consider not watching this video and wait for our next video later on this week. It's a bird in here that Peter found this morning. Is he okay? Good press. Okay, so we got the hawk in the bag. Story on how we found the hawk. Um, Peter went out to check mom and dad's chickens uh, this morning to, before we went out to church. Um, so he hears the squeaking after he walks inside because he shuffled the bag around to get to the chicken poop. Yes, he was trying to uh, find the chicken poop. So he was moving around the bag, and then he heard this chirping. He immediately jumps on top of the chicken bucket, uh, with the food in it, uh, because he thinks it's a fox. So, after waiting a little while, he goes searching for it, and then finds the bird inside the lawnmower bagger. He then quick runs inside, grabs some gloves. He took it inside and showed it to me, and I was just kind of shocked. I, he was like, here, John, look what I found. Not a normal thing to find. Especially on Sunday, yes. Is it but yeah. Day it is? What? Is it hot going day it is? No. But still. Um, he runs inside, uh, so then we both um, quickly uh, set it down carefully, um, and then go run and tell mom and dad. And that has set off this whole kafluffle, where we are now heading down uh, a little bit south to give it to a bird lady. I guess it's the best. A bird, 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 bird rehabilitator. A bird rehabilitator. Yeah, that's a tough word. Bird rehabilitator. Remember, Johnny needs a lion to Yes. So, we're taking it down. And we're going to Rotterdam. Yes. It's. About 20 minutes from our house. It's not exactly in the greatest of shape. Bird. Bird. Yes, the bird. Yes, thank you. The bird's not exactly in the greatest of shape, but uh, we hope it'll survive, though. There's a fire truck, John. Oh, yeah. Boy. You got the face up right there. There's a fire truck right there, Daniel. That's a nice truck. That's a nice truck. That's South nice. Schenectady. Well, you're going to have to get some speed here to go up this hill. No, you can't see. It hills very good on videos, but this is very steep. When you, you're going to go. This road we want. Um, Which way do we go? That way. Fun climbing up it with all this ice. You see how much sand right there, is on there. Okay, but it's right here. This one? Yes. yes. Yeah. We're here. We're about ready to deliver the hawk. Uh, should be pretty soon. He was moving around when we did the car ride. He isn't now. He's dead? Yeah. Oh. They're such sensitive creatures, and also, if they're already laying on the ground, I mean, there's, it's yeah. really... Uh, he's dead? Pretty hot. Yeah. He what? He what? He was, like, straight in the box, so he must... Be. Oh, I he's picked him up. Like, uh, I, I picked him up. I was just wanting to make sure he's... Dead, dead. Is he all the way dead? Oh. Mm -hmm. Poor birdie. Yeah. I think it's he a tried. I don't know if he broke broken wing, but he made it into Look a... Look at those talons, Dad. Yeah. Poor baby. Yeah. Yeah, yeah they're so such thin. sensitive creatures. Is, uh -huh. is how He's old very would thin. you... very How old would you guess? Um, I'm not sure, other than, you know, he's an adult. Okay. He's a mm. poor thing. Aww. Okay, Creatures. If they're lying on the ground, they're pretty. And that kind of bird, mm -hmm. I mean, if it was a different kind of bird with like an owl or something. Ground owl, yeah. But this, these guys, they're just so sensitive. Mm hmm. Okay. They're really highly stirred. So if you wanted to do bird rehabilitation, how do you get into that? Um, you would get a license. First, you would get a license from the state. Uh huh. 
from New York State through the DEC. Uh -huh. You know, they have a website and you have to take an exam. Uh -huh. um, I think you have to be 18 years old. And then after that, um, you would get a federal license, uh -huh. a federal permit. Um, you know, and that involves like a certain cage. You have to have caging. They come and, um, you know, they want pictures of all your caging and, uh -huh. um, you know, that you have a vet on board and uh, stuff like that. And then um, you get your license. So, okay. And then usually you would work with somebody for uh -huh. both. Okay. I mean, when you, you know, get your uh, state rehab license, you know, you need to work with someone mm -hmm. um, like a vet. You have to have a vet on, vet, a vet on board to get, um, hmm. you know, a state license. Okay. So... But there are, we have vets, like I'm with North Country Wild Care, uh -huh. so if it was someone local, mm -hmm. you know, they could um, contact our group and we could help them with all of that. Okay. So. Thank you very much for what sure. you do. I, I would give him fluids. Uh -huh. um, I might just put it under his skin, like sub-Q fluids, mm -hmm. um, lactate ringers, but um, yeah, I mean, that's really all I could do at this point, give mm -hmm. him, you know, uh, medicine for pain and fluids. Mm -hmm. you know. would, okay. you know, would you have like a vet comp? Um, I, I would bring to, yes, if he was, you know, perky enough, and, uh, perked up some, yet yeah, I would definitely, I work, yes, I do work with various vets in the area. Cool. Yeah, I bring Get animals to the vets all the time. I primarily do birds <laughs> right now, but. Do you have any hawks currently? Oh, uh, I have owls currently. Okay. Ooh. Owls are cool. Oh, we want an owl. We, we have an owl house in the <laughs> back of our barn. Yeah. But no owl yet. We're, we're uh -huh. wanting. It's been there for two years, and we got a, a great horned owl in there. Somehow it's shoehorned. It's for, made for barn owls, but it yeah. shoots herd himself in there. <laughs> oh my god! It was there for three days, and then what left? It's like oh. and we were wondering if it chased away the other owls so that there weren't any in there. I think he was migrating north because it was like March. Okay. <clears throat> yeah. The well, this time of year, unfortunately, a lot of barred owls uh -huh. oh, yeah. get hit by cars. Uh -huh. flying so low. You like owls? Yes. Favorite, yeah. favorite animal? Yes. Yeah, favorite. <laughs> I like owls too. But. but I like the hawks. I mean, the hawks are really interesting mm -hmm. too. But mm -hmm. these guys are just so hard. I mean, yeah. um, if it's a, if it's a broad shouldered, a broad winged hawk, they, they said they only live here in the summer. Well, then it must not be that. It's probably. I think it maybe it's the Coopers. Yeah, that c mm. that could be also. But I was. It's I not just, that big. It's not, not as, as big as a red tail. Oh no, it's definitely not a red tail. Yeah. I've never seen and they're one hardier. Like close. Anyway, well, thank you. Sure. Uh, obviously, there's nothing you can do at this point. Yeah. So. Poor thing. I mean, there's nothing you guys probably could do. It. Mm -hmm. You know, there's probably nothing when you found it that could be done. Yeah. If they're lying on the ground. Yeah, I figured it looked like it was hopeless when we found them. Yeah. I mean, the way it was uh, yeah. just laying there. Sometimes, you know, they perk up with when they're it just stressed. Uh -huh. there. But yeah. not he's a very sad. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Very lean. So as you saw, it was certainly not the ending that any of us wanted. We were really hopeful that this hog would have a happy story. That's why we went through this process of finding a rehabilitator in our area, which actually took quite a bit of time, but there's a lot of good information out there. She, the rehabilitator, gave us a lot of great information on what we should do next time. I don't know if you were able to hear what she said, but she felt like this hawk was extremely thin. So for whatever reason, it was in our barn. We don't know how long it was in our barn, but it would probably died of malnutrition, which is really, really sad. It is the, um, the course of nature that happens. This winter has been very cold. It's been definitely more difficult to find food for the animals and we think that it probably went in our barn trying to get our chickens and unfortunately wasn't able to escape. But whatever the case is, it was an excellent learning experience for all of us. I will put the link for North Country Wild Care if you're in upstate New York. She was very helpful. It's a whole team of people. 
across the North Country. So if you do find either any type of bird of prey or wild animal that needs rehab, their information will be down in the description and you can use that information to locate someone in this area. If you're not local, if you're not in New York State, go ahead and Google wildlife rehabilitation and you should be able to find someone local to you. Our New York State Department of Conservation has an entire list. I don't know if every state has that, but New York State has an entire list of rehabilitators. We started with that, and then through just making various phone calls, we're able to connect finally with someone. Unfortunately, it was just a little bit too late for this hawk. But if you have a similar circumstance and you need to get a hold of someone, check out those resources, book them, bookmark them on your phone or on your computer so you have them and you can have access to emergent care a little bit faster than we did. It took us about an hour to actually find appropriate care to find someone and then it took another half hour to get the bird loaded up and driven to the location because there weren't actually a lot of rehabilitators in our area. Thank you so much for watching this video and I hope it provided a little bit of helpful information for all of you guys and I will see you all on Wednesday for our next video, which is going to be all things organize, organizing the third floor. And if you're on Instagram, you already saw a sneak peek of what I'm working on. But on Wednesday, you're going to get the full tour and everything that we've been doing. Have a great night and we'll see you on Wednesday. Good night.